Well, hi, and thanks for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun Channel. Today is a kind of a special day. It's Father's Day. Um, you're probably seeing this a little belated, um, but uh, at any rate, it's Father's Day today as I make this video, and I'm dedicating this video to my dad, who's still around. I'm going to be 60 next week, and my dad's 85. My mom's still around. She's 84. The two of them are doing just great, and uh, I just want to thank dad for buying me this gun when I was 15 years old. Uh, what is this gun? This is a Sheridan model Blue Streak air rifle um, made from back in the 70s. I think they started making them in the 60s uh, and they continued production into the 70s. There were a couple of forerunners before that, a, a Model A and Model B um, and I think possibly a Model C, although this may be the Model C. I, I, I can't quite remember, uh, so don't quote me on that, but they started production back in 1949. Uh, so it's been around for quite a while because it's a true and tried, tried and tested design. It's uh, got a solid brass construction. All of the barrel itself and the, and the pump, pump tube, uh, with, a, with the exception of the cocking arm and so forth, is all brass. Uh, it's got a walnut stock, which is really hard to find on, a, on any gun manufactured today. Now this one's seen some hard use. It probably deserves a refinishing, but I'm not sure I want to do that to it because all these marks were put on here by me over the course of a... Uh, pretty enjoyable childhood, so I just might leave this in its original condition, uh, which is as you see it here. It's um, it's pretty beat up. You can see where my hand over the years has worn away the finish on the pump handle. It's just so, uh, and you can see where some of the finish is worn off and the brass is showing through. But just a, a wonderful little gun, factory adjustable sights on, on the back. Uh, it's a bolt action system, so you cock the gun here. Um, which cocks an internal hammer that just lays back there and engage with the trigger until you pull it and when you pull it this, the hammer flies forward and releases the air that's stored in the valve and that's what fires your pellet. That's what it sounds like without being pumped up. That's just the hammer hitting the, uh, the valve itself. Um, I'm not sure that's going to hurt. I've done that thousands of times over the lifetime of this gun so I'd, I'd say it's safe to do that. When you store a gun like this you put two pumps in it one, two, and put it away just like that. And that keeps the valve seated and, and seems to do a really good job because like I said, 45 years with a pneumatic air rifle and I've never had to rebuild the valves on this thing. So that says a lot for the gun. Um, these were made in 20 caliber or five millimeter. Uh, they're 37 inches long and five pounds worth of weight, which makes it a dream gun to carry in the field. And I can vouch for its effectiveness in the field. As a kid, I, I killed just about everything that moved, you know, and you know better than that as you get older. But as a kid, you don't know any better and you've got a gun in your hand, you're gonna, you're gonna do what kids do, I guess. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? It's got a rocker safety, which is kind of unusual in modern day guns, but it works just fine. Uh, and there's somebody else shooting something a lot bigger than this around here. <laughs> so at any rate, that's my Sheridan Blue Street folk. This is just a quick video to introduce you to an American classic. I bet you some of my European friends that watch my channel uh, have never seen or even heard of this gun. So um, just a little introduction for you guys. And uh, with a celebration to dad, we're going to ring the bell and we're going to pump this thing up eight times. That's the maximum that they recommend. That's three because we put those two in it before. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, you really struggle as a kid to put that last number eight in that gun. I don't know how many pounds it takes to do that, um, but it's a lot. <laughs> These are Sheridan, not Sheridan, but uh, Beeman brand silver jet pellets. I couldn't find any original Sheridan pellets to fire in this thing. Those were kind of unique too. They were a conical pellet. They didn't have a waist on them like the modern Diabola pellets do. Um, but at any rate, it's a single shot. So you just load one pellet. The bolt will seat it into the barrel just ahead of the transfer port. And I'm going to see if I can hit the bell with this 45 year old rifle with open sights and glasses. <laughs> so wish me luck. Let's see how we do. Yeah, baby, we got it. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Dad. I love you so much. And thanks, folks, for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun channel. If you enjoyed the, the uh, video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And uh, thanks so much again, folks. I really appreciate you stopping in today. Have a great day. Happy Father's Day.
until they came out with the Blue Streak model, which was the one that lasted the longest. And that was in 19... Uh, I'm not sure when they introduced the Blue Streak. There's this, there you go. There's this blooper. <laughs> Start over.